Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with a new reading vlog for some romances that are coming out soon. I, it is Tuesday and I have the day off. It was supposed to be election day today, but then Ohio's primaries are on the 17th. I think they were thinking about moving them to the today because they don't want it on a holiday, which is St. Patrick's Day, is it really a holiday? Um, and then they never changed the election day, but they never changed their day off. So we have a Tuesday off and I'm living my best life and I have some romances I want to read. First off is Old Fashioned by Candy Steiner. I have an arc of this. I started it at the gym this morning and it is so good. It is about a high school football coach and he is the oldest Becker brother and he's adopted and he is half black but he doesn't know who his parents are. He's always just grown up with the Beckers ever since he was little. I don't think they've mentioned um, the circumstances of his adoption. I don't know if they will but he's a football coach and his football team has won state championships twice so he's under a lot of pressure. They have a new athletic trainer and she is recently divorced and she is gorgeous and he is already like the guys are gonna give you a hard time um we need to be wary of that because they are hormonal teenage boys and you're gorgeous and so they're already at odds which i really like and i'm just really loving this book so far i love candy signer and this was the one i was most excited for the previous one was about an 18 year old which i was just like mm, it's fine i'm not really huge into that age because that was book three because that's the youngest back our brother but now we have the oldest one and he is in his early 30s and I am loving it so far so that's great maybe he's in his late 20s I don't remember but he's older and I'm loving it so I'm gonna definitely finish that this week and After the Fall by Gianna Darling comes out on Friday and I'm supposed to get an arc today we'll see when that happens I did sign up and I'll just ask Gianna if I don't get one if I can have an arc of that because I'm dying for it Candy's book comes out on Thursday of next week but I don't know when these arcs are coming, so we'll see. I also want to read All I Ask by Corinne Michaels. This is a romance between, I think, two single parents, and that's all I know. This was sent to me by Forever Romance, and it comes out on Tuesday, the 17th. I also am going to start today The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. This is two people who are assistants to a married couple who hates each other, who are like an HGTV couple. So I've heard mixed things. I'm nervous. I think this comes out like on the 24th of March. I believe but this is short so I think I can fly through this and then what I'm most excited for which is my dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell and this one actually I had not heard of well I think I remember seeing it but then the uh, publisher sent me a finished copy this comes out on the 17th and this one is about a student teacher relationship and it's based on the author's own experience with a student teacher relationship she was in and it's got a dual timeline of when she was in that relationship and now when there's a girl who wants to press charges against the teacher for sexual assault I think and she she is going to go on trial. This says she either has to remain silent or is it possible that the man she loved as a teenager who professed to worship only her may be different from what she had believed. Student teacher romances as a teacher myself are gross and it is a violation of a uh, power and authority that teachers have over students. That is just a line that no educator should ever cross because students are at such a vulnerable time in their lives and idolized teachers in some aspects and so the fact that there are teachers out there who grossly take advantage of their students is just wrong so i'm very interested to see this aspect of it because i'm definitely sure it's not going to glorify that considering that she's in the present now reflecting on how it happened and it'll be interesting to get her viewpoint as the student themselves i don't think we ever get that perspective realistically in books so that'll be very interesting so those are the six books i want to read this week we'll see how it goes my plan is to get this up hopefully on monday the 16th before some of these are released and i'll keep you guys up Dated as I'm reading. Hi, little girl. Yes, hello. And then we have Mr. Stars. Hi. Oh, big stretchy. Alrighty. So it is almost 8 p.m. and I've had a lot going on today, but I have 140 pages read, and it's really, really cute. It's slow burn so like we just are getting to some romance and i'm already almost halfway through the book but i do enjoy it it's going by fast i don't think it'll be a five star read um depending on how the rest goes i could see it being a four star read they both work for this couple and the couple is really struggling right now but they have to keep up appearances as they're on a tour for their book and they're just kind of starting to notice each other i really really like Carrie's character. I keep on thinking her name's Casey, but I think her name's Carrie. There are, let me find it. 
yeah, it's Carrie. So there are like different things in between chapters. So we have excerpts from their book and we have the transcript of one of them being interviewed by police. And that's what like this whole thing is, is that the very first thing in here is them being interviewed by the police and like telling the story of everything that happened. So that'll be interesting to see how that culminates. But so far, I just love this cover so much and like all the raised font and the matte cover, but it's fun so far. I'm interested to see how the story turns out, how the romance turns out, and Miss Darcy's going to keep me company. I do have a, a, an episode left of Love is Blind that I want to watch. I'm on episode 9 already. Oh my gosh, I thought I was on 8. I'm on episode 9, so I think I'm on the last episode, and then it's going to be the reunion. So yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. Back to school tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys. So it's currently Friday, and um, if you don't know, I'm a teacher, so... Things happened this week. Um, I live in Ohio, and the governor, as of yesterday at 3 p.m., said all Ohio schools are closing for three weeks. And our spring break's in two weeks, so we have one week spring break and one week where we have no school. My district has decided that teachers will still go to school, but students, don't have to. And that's just very frustrating. I have four friends in four different states and not a single one is going to school while their students are not going to school. So yeah, everybody's saying everybody needs to work from home if you can. But why would we want that for teachers? And it's just annoying, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. So I'm not in the best of moods today. I went to Half Price Books because they're having their sale. I'm only going to two locations. Normally I go to five, but with all this going on, I don't wanna go around and get germs. They're being really good at the stores. They sanitize their hands before and after each transaction, and I bring hand sanitizer with me everywhere. So the, the stores were not even busy at all today because of everything going on. So I only went to two stores. They're both super close to me, so yeah. But I have finished um, The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren, and I ended up giving this three stars. It was really good, like I said in the beginning, not five star materials, kind of four stars. And then once they started hooking up, which is the primary uh, start of their relationship, and they kind of like each other, and then it got insta-lovey so fast, and then the ending, like this book felt short, even though it was a full 300 pages, it felt short, and the ending happened very quickly and just like too nicely um so it just not I just didn't care like by page 200 I was just like okay and like I knew everything that was gonna happen and it was just got annoying and so I'm giving it three stars it is definitely not a favorite by Christina Lauren I haven't loved anything since it's on Honeymooners we all know Twice in a Blue Moon wasn't a fan fave and this one is not a fan fave either I did like this better than Twice in a Blue Moon but still I didn't really connect with the characters or feel the relationship at all. So I am 25% into um, old fashioned. Yeah. And I'm really enjoying it. So it's really cute. Her, the main character has a daughter who I think is nine and she wants to be a football player. And so the coach is going to help her like understand what goes into being a football player. And it's super sweet and cute. And so I really like that so far. Um, cause she is divorced. Lily, do you want to see this dog right now? Oh, hi. What? What is this? It's a camera. You're so cute. Why are you so cute? I am now 150, 170 pages into My Dark Vanessa. I read a lot yesterday. It's so good, but so disturbing. But like, I can't stop reading. So she, it's like, it's like she's literally groomed to be in a relationship with this teacher. Like, she's not someone who was trying to seduce him at all. He definitely like made her feel special, made her feel like she had to say yes for a lot of things and um when it comes out like people think that something's happening between them he's definitely manipulating her and it's a terrifying look at reality of what student teacher relationships are like in the real world and how it's like for the actual student that is involved and it's i definitely like the past chapters better than the present the presence when she's like in her 30s and another girl has come out that this teacher 
had a relationship with her and there's like four other people he's had relationships with over the past few years so and she's still in contact with him so it's very interesting how he's still manipulating her and how she's still affected by what happened when she was 16 15 oh it's like it's like you don't want to read it, but you can't stop reading it. So that's how it is for me so far. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, now that the gyms... I'm not going to my gym anymore. I was I went yesterday and watched the news, and I was like, I feel like I'm just touching germs everywhere. So now I'm going to be running outside when I can or doing workout videos in my basement. So um, I'm not going to be reading at the gym anymore. So I won't be reading as many ebooks these next month, probably. So... I'll try my best to make more time for that and yeah wish me luck I haven't run outside in so long god it's a very different from running on the treadmill but yeah so that's my update um I'll keep you updated I'm gonna read a lot more of this I really want to finish it soon but it's over 300 pages so we'll see how much I get done today but yeah and hopefully I can become in a better mood oh I did buy some books let me show you light so I have this stack of books hi Lily look at that step back this one, Lisa Claypiss, gorgeous. This one, Joanna Lindsay, was on sale. Lily, we don't need to squeeze that right now. Let's keep that. Use your face. This one is only $2, look at that. Very pretty, Joanna Lindsay. Then, of course, like I said, I love this. Oops, <laughs> I love this so, so much. So, got this 40% off. My sister bought this for 40% off because she really liked the first one. And then I got this for 40% off. We went to two different stores. They had 40% off your highest purchase. And my sister also got something else. I don't remember what she got. What? She really wants her ball. I know. All right, I got to go watch Grey's Anatomy and play with this pup. Hi guys, so it is about 2 o'clock on Saturday. My legs are so sore. I did a workout video with my sister this morning since I'm not going to the gym. And, um, ow. I run, I don't do weights or lunges or leg workouts. And so I feel like this break from the gym is actually going to make me more muscular since I'm working out other things. But I did just finish My Dark Vanessa. And I'm going to give it four stars. It was very good, not a romance very serious um it definitely looks at how she was manipulated and how she dealt with that manipulation and that experience for literally the rest of her life she carries it with her for a long time now this is completely fictional but the author did have a teacher student romance i believe when she was growing up so i feel like the emotions are very realistic and I really enjoyed it. It's not what I typically read, so I'm typically into romance, and this definitely was very serious the entire time. I'm obsessed with this dust jacket, and I think I showed you guys. So the cover has like a little butterfly down there, and it's like textured. I am just obsessed with this hardcover. This, this texture is just so nice, but it was really good. I'm glad I read it. Like I said, I am a teacher myself, and... I just cannot fathom how any adult would do this. Um, so, yeah, I think this was a really good portrayal of what that student-teacher romance is actually look like and what they do to the child in that situation. So, it was really good. Um, four out of five stars. I, I liked it. And next, I'm going to finish Old Fashioned today, hopefully. I have a copy of The Sinner at my parents house right now and I'm dying for it but I'm not going over till tomorrow so I'll get it then all my book mail goes to their house because I never want to change my address with the publishers in case I have to move again because I've moved twice now since I've started blogging and stuff so yeah I am very excited to read it it is Black Dagger Brotherhood 18 I believe we're on 18 now so yeah those are my reading plans and I also have to start after the fall but we'll see when that happens so I will catch up with you guys probably either tonight or tomorrow morning Hi. We just got back from mom and dad. I don't know if I updated you guys, but um, my parents texted my sister and I at about 3.30 yesterday. And they're like, hey, why don't you guys spend the night and bring the dogs? And we're like, okay, we were going to uh, ask them that if we could, but then we're like, nah, we'll just stay home. And then they asked us to come over, so we did. We spent a lot of time at my parents' house. And that meant I got this book earlier than today. Today's Sunday, it's about 8.30. And it's been a crazy day. Um, I've read half of this, which I'll get into. This doesn't come out until like the 24th, so. 
I'm so happy. But uh, we got news at about 5.30 that school is now closed tomorrow and all students and staff don't have to come in anymore. Now I do have to go in tomorrow because of course my MacBook, We all the teachers get a MacBook, it uh, shut down, like did a hard shutdown for some reason and then um, the time changed on it, so we are locked out of certain things of school computers, so I can't go in and change the time back, and my internet won't work if the timing's not right, so I have to go in and get that fixed tomorrow, which is like, when everything's going digital, a great thing that my work computer stopped working, but I do have a personal computer, obviously, that I use for all this stuff, so, um, if worse comes worse, I have a backup, but I would really like to be able to do my school stuff on my school computer because everything's on there. No idea what anything's going to look like these next two weeks, three weeks, more than that. Um, we know for sure we have this week off and then the next week's our spring break and then the next week off. And kids are not expected to do anything for the next two weeks. Um, because we were supposed to spend this week planning, but we're not coming in now. So I'm going in tomorrow. I had to get some stuff um, and talk to my department head and just see what we're going to do. So I think we're going to be expected to work some, but I don't know what that's going to look like. So we shall see. But I have read half of this almost exactly and I wanted to read a lot more today and get it done today because the historical romance recon is tomorrow, but I might have to go into this tomorrow too. Probably I'm not gonna finish 250 pages tonight though I can't stay up later since I'm not waking up until 6 a.m. Tomorrow to go in but I'm only going in for a couple hours I definitely won't be working a full day tomorrow at the school because I don't need to be there um, And I have to stay safe and inside but anyways, I am really loving this so far there I love Joe and sin so far like the last couple books I haven't been a fan of the main couple, but I love Joe's character She's a reporter that shows up in the shadows and I really love her and we just figured out something about her um, and I really like sin I like their relationship a lot we're getting so much of butch and I'm loving every second of it so this is like going by really fast unlike the savior I wasn't a huge fan of the savior but this is so so good so far and I've read a little bit more about 10% more of old-fashioned by Candy Steiner and I'm still really enjoying it it's just a super sweet cute romance if you like that so yeah that's my update for you guys so far um I have to put my laundry away and watch Chandler's new video about all of her thrillers she's been reading. I'm excited for that video. And yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of time to read, I think, these next few weeks. So fun content coming your way. Historical Romance Readathon this upcoming week. So I'll be reading historical romances all week. And then I have a fun video planned for the next week. So I'm definitely gonna spend a couple days in my parents' house during my spring break. And I'm not going to a polycon anymore. So, and I have a signing in May in Nashville. And I'm pretty sure that's probably going to get canceled. Because they're saying things up to eight weeks from now can be canceled. Should be canceled. So, we'll see. At least I have YouTube to keep me occupied. <gasps> Hello, Lily. Someone likes me being home all day. Emma Darcy, what are you doing? Hey, can you say hi? Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. Oh, look at you. I know. I don't know what it's doing. You guys are so cute. So happy, Emma. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hey guys, so I'm here to close out this vlog. It's Tuesday and I have 80 pages left of the center. I really need to start reading for the Historical Romance Readathon, so I'm gonna finish this today and just continue on with that vlog. I need to edit this today so that I can get it up today. So I just wanna let you know I am enjoying it. It's not a five star read though. There are a lot of slow parts and Davina has been in here like twice and nothing's really happened with her character, which is so frustrating to me. So. I've wanted just like big impactful things to happen and J.R. Ward did say his sins past was like super hard to write and super dark and it's not. So I was expecting kind of like Zeta's book again and we don't get that. So I do remember us getting like a little bit of a clip of him before in a previous book that was dark, but that's it. So my battery's now flashing, so I'm gonna make this quick. I'm probably gonna end up giving this a four star if I when I end up finishing it, and then that's it. I am working from home. I just had an hour and a half meeting at nine, and then I have another one at noon. So I just ate lunch. I'm gonna take my dogs on a walk, and then I did a bunch of stuff for my masters already. So it's been working from home a lot. So yeah, 
that's all I have. So make sure you guys check out my Dark Vanessa. Make sure you check out the Honey Don't List and then the Sinner. Um, yeah, those are all the things I read. I'm still reading Candy Steiner's book. I'm just so far behind on reading right now. It's just been hard to focus, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to. So yeah, but I'm going to start reading all of my historical romances. I have a vlog for that coming next week as well. So that's all I have. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.